Hey guys, I'm happy to be here in another video. And today I'm gonna answer a question that many of you have asked me on Instagram. And it's if I have implants, if my breasts are real. Today I'm gonna tell you the story behind my breasts. It all started about three and a half years ago. Exactly when I changed my lifestyle from eating normal to a raw vegan one. From one day to the next, I started eating 100% raw vegan. I stopped drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes. Not that I recommend this to everyone because I know everyone's different and most people are better off transitioning into a vegan and raw vegan diet, but that's how it was for me. Ever since I was 13, uh, I got my period, my body started changing, my breasts uh, started to grow. I come from a family that women have bigger sized breasts. So throughout my high school years, uh, I developed into a woman and I was a 34D. Now I'm 5'2 and I always felt like my breasts were a bit too big for my body size. They'd be heavy, I wasn't really able to run, my back would hurt sometimes. It was uncomfortable to wear some clothes. I would feel like I'm, I was showing too much or like people would look at me. And I always had the thought of having a breast plastic surgery in the future. So I was 23, it was at the end of 2012 and I decided that I was gonna do it. So I went to the doctor and he said, okay, let's do it. I told him what I wanted. I always wanted a 34C, so just one cup size down. And he said, okay, but the, the only thing is that three weeks prior and after the operation, uh, I recommend that you don't smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol because that can affect the way that your body heals. So for me, it was like a great idea because it was going to be New Year's resolution. I kind of wanted to cut down on the partying and the drinking. And I said, perfect. So after the surgery, uh, I had three weeks basically in bed. I couldn't really drive. I can do a lot of things. I, I was literally in my house for three weeks. And this was the longest time I had been like in my bed lying down without really being able to do anything. During that time, I was thinking that I wanted to start eating healthier. It was the beginning of the year. I had like new breasts and I felt like lighter. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna get healthy this year. During that time, I also had a time to kind of reflect upon my life, upon the path that I was taking, on my lifestyle how it was affecting me. It was then that I realized that alcohol was being kind of a bad influence in my life and it wasn't taking me in the direction that I really wanted to go. I started asking myself questions like, what's my purpose in life? Why am I here? What are my passions? I didn't really feel like I was like really passionate about something like, oh my gosh, I love doing this or like about my work, you know? So I came to my dad and I told him, hey, listen, this is what's happening to me. I don't feel good, I'm feeling kind of down, not depressed, but just low. Uh, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't, I don't feel like I have passion for life. And he said, go to this place called Optimum Health Institute in San Diego. You're gonna eat raw foods there. You're gonna learn about the mind, body, and spirit connection. You're gonna connect with your soul, with yourself, and you're, you're really gonna connect with yourself and you're gonna feel good. So I said, okay, I went there, I stayed there for two weeks and that's where I first learned about the raw vegan diet. And I felt absolutely amazing. After the first three days, I was like, oh my gosh, where is this like all happiness coming from? Like, I just didn't know. I felt like this truly inner joy. So I really feel that God used raw foods as the vehicle to kind of shift me from the path that I was taking into a more positive one. After I came out of that place, I never went back to drinking or smoking and I started a completely 100% raw vegan diet. So like all surgeries can have its downsides. The first time around that the doctor worked on my breasts, I didn't really like how they turned out. So my breasts used to be big and a little bit saggy. So in order to make them smaller and kind of just perkier, he had to put an implant in, but they looked even bigger. Like it was still a D, but with the implant, it just looked like very exaggerated. So I had to wait a year until I could have another operation. So for a whole year, which was my first year of being on the raw vegan diet, I had this uh, breast implants. 
And right before my water fast, my 25 day water fast, which was in January, 2014, I had the operation again. And that's when he put the size that I wanted, a 34C. And I feel very satisfied with that size. So that's the story of my breasts. <laughs> and now that I'm in this lifestyle, if I had the choice, I don't think I would get a, an operation, a surgery, because I really learned to just embrace my body and the uniqueness of it. And, and sometimes I kind of do miss how my breasts were in its natural state, how God brought me to this world. But at the same time, I am very grateful for this surgery because if it wasn't for this surgery, I don't know if I would have even entered into the raw vegan diet lifestyle. And I would probably not even be making YouTube videos right now. So thanks to the surgery, so many blessings came my way. And you know what? I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And I truly believe that God knows exactly what he does and he does it for a reason. And so that's the story. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and for your support and for just being here with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. I had been wanting to make this video for a few months, but I hadn't done it because of the controversy that this video may cause. But you know what? You guys asked, so here it is. And I have no problem being like 100% honest with you guys, especially about that. So anyways, thank you guys again. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, all at Ravana. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.